excuse me. I bought this watch off you this morning. Rolex. Classy. All the way from Switzerland. It's stopped. It's not my problem. Hey, well, what about the 250 I paid for it? We don't do refunds on our stuff. Yeah, well, then I'll just swap it for one of these. Is that because it's all stolen? We're dealers in second-hand goods. GPS, brand new, no box. What ship did that come from? Ooh, marine guidance systems. Digital cameras, mini DVs, watches. <laughs> Tourists everywhere are patting their pockets going, hang on a sec. Mate, if I were you, I'd report them to the cops. Maybe a warrant out for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I will. Maybe we can do a deal on something else, huh? Camera? <laughs> Another watch. <laughs> what about this little guy? Search him. I can't sell him. He's my pet. How much? 500. And it'll be breaking my heart. 300. And the Amiga is a replacement for my newfound friend over there. <laughs> Mate, what are you doing? <laughs> and we say nothing more about how your stall gets its stock. <laughs> that little guy. Come here, little guy. Come on. Going TikTok? <laughs> hey, mate. You're crazy, mate. You can't take a monkey on board Hammersley. I don't know the meaning of the word can't. Jump in. Hey, come on. Into the back. Away, mate. Oh, you want me to come down there, do you? idea why those guys were chucking bottles at us last night. Maybe they weren't aiming at us in particular. They look pretty well aimed to me, boss. No one had any run-ins on shore leave yesterday? No, boss. No, sir. Uh, just some locals, boss, returning our goodwill? Yes. Thank you, two dads. Change your attitude, leader. Let the local authorities know. They can chase it up. Yes, sir. Special sea duty men, close up. After you, Nav.
is the girl I'm looking for. I wanted to see how you are. I'm fine. You can't know how much you miss E.T. We all do. Everything's the same, but it's not, it's different. I still expect to see him. Every time I turn the corner. <laughs> that new guy, Two Dads, he's the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. Every time I see him, I'm just. just reminded ET's gone. Have you come back to work too soon? You need some more leave? No. Couldn't bear hanging around at home. Work's been the only thing getting me through. Is it, is it just me or is Lance not getting fatter? <laughs> Great. Creating the world's first ever obese clam fish. <laughs> Roe will kill you if you leave peanut shells on his rack. Just keep an eye out. <gasps> Did you see that? He caught it. Oh man! I'm gonna teach you all sorts of little skills when I get you past customs, huh? Mate, forget <laughs> customs. Try getting past the X. That other crap too. She always does an inspection. We'll be in a foreign port, and then I'll distract her with my monkey magic. Huh? Mate, the ex is very, very undistractable. Trust me. I haven't met an officer yet that I couldn't soft shoe shuffle. <laughs> but people are putting my balls like those trusses at the market. No wonder they're throwing empties at us. Leader. <coughs> <coughs> Yes, Nev? You know something about the incident on the wharf? Some men threw bottles at the ship. You'd had contact with them? None to speak of. Didn't sound that way. Slip with the ear, ma'am. Care for a peanut? Why don't you offer one to the CEO? So those men and you? We had a slight disagreement at the market, that's all. About what? Uh the value of certain items they had for sale? What items? What items? Uh, sorry about that. Sarongs. I bought sarongs for my sister and those guys ripped me off. Overcharged big time. So this led to the incident at the wharf. How? I, um, gave them a taste of their own medicine. You cheated them? I like to see it as evening up the scoreboard, sir. So they came all the way down to the wharf to throw bottles at a warship over some sarongs, is that what you're saying? I oh, know. Who would have thought they would have taken it so badly? Two dads, we were on a goodwill visit. We're not going to spread much with you ripping off locals. It won't happen again, boss. It better not. Not the right way for you to start your tour with us. No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Back to work. Aye, sir. The wrongs. <laughs> what do you make of our new electronics tech? Up himself and unprofessional. It's early days. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is Captain Anuta Gore of the fishing vessel Monsoon. We are disabled. Over. Fishing vessel Monsoon, this is Captain Mike Flynn of the Australian warship Hammersley. What's the situation, over? Uh, we had to go full astern to avoid a collision with the reef. Uh, our engine has ceased. There's some problem with the gears, over. What's your position? Uh, 10 degrees, 40 south, 1, 3, 1, 10 east, over. They're in the middle of a shallow reef system, sir. Lots of bombies and coral close to the surface. There is a deeper channel which runs almost the whole way through, so if we altered course, our passage time would be increased, but it would be a safer journey. Well, they're not in danger of sinking, so let's take that channel, slow and steady. Yes, sir. Post extra lookouts, forward and aft, watch for bombies. 
Robbo, with me. Fishing vessel Monsoon, this is Australian warship Hammersley. We're on our way. We advise that you drop anchor, over. Already done, Captain. I don't want to bump into anything else. Over. Swain, starboard 20, altering 010. Take the ship, man. Yes, sir, I have the ship. What, oh, the boss didn't get up you more than that? Ah, uh, the boss is a pushover. Yeah, until he finds your little furry friend. If he does, I'll handle that too. Port 10, steer 220. Port 10, steer 220. You're right? Have you seen my pruning shoes? Your what? My bonsai clippers. Why would I seen your bonsai clippers? Well, I always keep them in the top drawer, always. Hello, right we are kind of busy here. See, I've had to learn how to keep my feet in any situation. Bomby, fine on the port bow! Starboard 30. Starboard 30. 30 of starboard long, ma'am. Oh. Get up, you dog. 4.7 metres from Charling. I still have not seen your bonsai scissors. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I've just I've misplaced something. So we have a vessel on our course which is not responding to radio. What's it moving? Drift speed. Keep trying the radio. Better take a look. Sir. Vessel in position 11 degrees 25 south, 131 degrees 40 east. This is Australian warship Hammersley. Come in, please. You're my money on my poor bow. Please show yourselves. Try one more, X. You're my money on my port bow. Please show yourselves. X, take a boarding party and check it out. But be quick, the monsoon's waiting for us. Clothes, GPS, computer. Yeah, even the bar fridge, boss. Pirates. Well, they're Canadian husband and wife just following the wind. The last log position places them about 50 nautical miles east of our current position. When was that? 0800. So they're probably long gone. Let's leave the yacht at anchor. X, get onto NAVCOM so they can alert the local authorities. Hey, boss. What if they're still sniffing around? Oh, we'll show them we're Navy and not a soft target. has had a look at their engine. One of the gear cogs has been stripped and lost its housing over. Ah, oh, terrible noise it made. 
Can you fix it so they can make it to their port? Uh, no, sir. I'm going to need some time back on board Hammersley just to make it operable, and then I'll come back and refit it. All right, let's set up a tow, get them out of danger. We'll see about their engine after that. Yeah, I'm on it, boss. Ah, oh, the Fellowship of the Sea. Thank you. Thank you. Anything? Uh, well, the good news is there's no sign of bombies and no sign of pirates. The bad news is I'm starving. How long till Brecky, bud? What? Nothing. When was the last time you saw two days? Oh, uh, we came in about an hour ago, swapped binos with me, reckon I was a lucky pair or something. Yeah, right. What do you think you're doing? Buff, I, um, I was... Why'd you leave the boat deck? I was hungry. Leaving your post is a very serious offence. Come on, Buff. I was only gone a minute. A minute could be all it takes to dance. Now, everyone needs to keep their eyes open at all times. Somebody should tell them to have that. She almost ran us onto that bombing today. Yeah, you could have meant to stop right there. Now, Lieutenant Catano is a very fine officer and navigator. Yes, Papa. Look. No one's probably told you. The guy you're replacing, E.T., well, the Naz very upset by his death because they were close. I see. Close. Close, is it? Now you keep going, sunshine. I dare you. Can't find my scissors. They're antique. Well, they're certainly not in my galley. I don't lose things. It's, it's not in my nature. The last thing that I lost was a figure in a Papa Smurf in 1987. I was six. <laughs> hey, we all lose things sometimes. I can't find my necklace anywhere. Mate, I wouldn't mind in a tub this size. Bound to turn up sooner or later. Exactly. Hey, has anyone seen my watch? No, the gold watch. Get panda. One missing item is nothing. Two, that's a coincidence. But three... Hey, aren't there those, uh, those things called uh, poltergeists? Yes, there are also those things called thieves. Oh, dear. Just iron all of these again later. Rose scissors, bomber's necklace, charger's watch and my wallet all come to be in your cabin, leading seaman. I don't know, sir. In your rack? I'm not a thief, boss. Then how'd this stuff get in there? Charge had his watch last night. When would I have had a chance to pinch it? I uh. said that you left your post this morning. Did you? Yes, ma'am. What were you doing? I was hungry. That's lame. Hungry? I, I didn't steal it, sir. I don't know who did, but it wasn't me. Why would someone else hide stolen goods in your bed? I don't know, but I didn't steal anything. Just like you didn't rot those guys at the market, huh? Come to attention, leader. You're on notice. This will go in front of another CO for their deliberation. Dismissed. Yes, sir.
Talk about snakes in the grass. I knew that I had not lost my shoes. I don't lose things. Yeah, funny feeling one of your crewmates stealing from you. I didn't. I didn't take your shears. I didn't take any of it. Whatever, two dads. Who did then? I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, but you know, he did. What am I gonna do? You're gonna do something about that stupid monkey. Second. Come in. Oh, do you mind if I have a word? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Leo, look, I know how um, difficult it must be to stand in front of your shipmates and admit your wrongdoing. What, what is that smell? I... I don't smell anything, ma'am. No, it's it's musty. It's it's like. What is that? Leaky pipe? Yeah, leaky pipe. Oh. Honestly, Navy should get us ships with better plumbing. Yes. You were saying? What, what was that? Did you hear that? Rats? Maybe? Oh. Ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, before you... I think you... <laughs> Oh my God. My God, it's a monkey. Where did he come from? I don't know, but he seems to know you. Ix, I know he's against the rules, but I couldn't resist buying him. And you know what? I think he's the thief. Oh, grow up. You don't think he's cute, man? Cute. AQIS will quarantine this ship for three months if we arrive with that, that little thing on board. What? Well, it could have rabies or parasites or God knows what other diseases we're trying to keep out of the country. And I hope that you're going to stand up in front of your shipmates and tell them that they can't see their families or even get off this ship for three months because you decided that the law didn't apply to you. I didn't think. No, no, you didn't think, did you? You are a lazy knoll who has lied to me and your CEO about bringing contraband on board this ship. Now clean up this mess. It is disgusting. Ma'am. What about the monkey? Well, you're going to have to get rid of the poor thing. Yeah, an apology, mate. Come on. Jump down. Ah, uh, hold on. Yeah, come in. You're on the steaming party. Yeah, I just got to do what I want. Now, let's go. Yeah, sure, buff. Going missing. He's been trained to pinch things like a pickpocket. It makes sense. Yeah, except the part where you brought a monkey on board. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a stupid thing to do. Ah, uh, look. I knew this Charge. Thing to do when he was a lot younger than what he is now. And he brought this spider monkey on board. Cute as a button it was. Smart, too. Not a pickpocket. Yeah, what happened? When the CEO found out about it, he, uh, he had to go. Drowned it. I put him in a life jacket first. I mean, who knows? Little fella could have found his way back to shore. Wait, Ab, I'll refit this. Captain Tabor, I'm Nikki Katana. I'm going to help you navigate out of here once we get your engines up and running. Thank you, and uh, welcome, Lieutenant. Um, tea? No, Robert. thank you. Right, well, the uh, charts are upstairs. Two dads with me. This 
channel here looks the safest, most direct route. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Yep. I'll go uh, check the tow line. Yep. A monkey. A monkey. He smuggles a monkey on board, which then proceeds to pickpocket the entire crew. Yeah, he has been nothing but trouble since he joined this ship. He behaves like he doesn't want to be here. He doesn't. He only joined the Navy to avoid going to jail. What? He's had minor run-ins with the police since he was a teenager. Vandalism, offensive behaviour, that sort of thing. Three years ago, the magistrate recommended his parents get him to join the services for a bit of discipline before he ends up with a conviction. Since when did we become a rehabilitation service? I know. Anyway, as soon as we're back home, he's off my ship. And what about the monkey? Well, I'm not spending $10,000 of taxpayers' money in fuel just to drop it off on a desert island. Where is the damn thing now, anyway? You live to steal another day, little guy. Sneak your shoe at these guys, boy. Lieutenants, we can't let you go either. You there! Okay, okay. Where's the other one, dear? Your big engine, dear. Where's he? The engine. Okay. Well, go, go, get him, get him, get the other gun. What is going on? There's a cabin below full of equipment from that yacht. These are the pirates. We'll be right now. We'll be okay. Think of something. I do not need you comforting me, Lady Seaman. It's your stupidity that got us into this.
can't find the engineer. Find him. Don't find him. Find him. Find him. You. No. 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 Hey. no. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. Give me that gun now, or I kill this dog before your eyes. Now! Judge. Ma'am. Drop it. Do it! Please. Floor. Sit down on the floor! Sir? Well, on the good news or the bad news? You get on with it, bro. Right? Oh, it looks like we found our pirates. Got a message in from NAVCOM in response to yesterday's incident report. The monsoon was reported stolen three months ago. They haven't heard from the crew since. Right, buffer, stand by to drop the tow. Right, Go to boarding sir. station, sir. Roger, boarding station. Swain Port 20, altering 180, station, Revolution 1700. 20, altering Radio, Radio Road, Revolution 1700. Bomber, spider, close up on the 50 cal. Roger. Sir. November 8-2, this is Charlie 8-2, over. November 8-2, this is Charlie 8-2, over. November 8-2, this is Charlie... I'll try and get him on the VHF, right? First time we ever scored the Navy radio. How much will we get for this? More than we're owed. I bet you we should pay full price for that monkey now, eh? Monsoon, this is Australia Warship Hammersley. Come in, please. Monsoon, this is Australia Warship Hammersley. Respond. Monsoon, this is Australia Warship Hammersley. Come in, please. Get me Lieutenant Commander Flynn. This is Flynn. We have three of your crew hostage. If you try to board us, we will kill them. I'd like to speak to Lieutenant Caetano or Chief Engineer Thorpe. No, 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 no. You get nothing till I get what I want. And what's that? 2,000 rounds, 50 caliber ammunition in exchange for my three crew members unharmed. The lieutenant and the engineer, hmm. But my crew has some business with the young man. Him, we will keep. Sir, we can't leave two dads. No, we're not going to. But we've got to give them something. This way I get two crew members back, a rib across there and a chance to board them. Yeah, but we can't give them ammunition. We'll give them something. Captain has the ship. Captain Tagore, I'm sending a boat. G4 cleared up. Close the way, four clear. Ammunition provided to the mount, sir. Captain, 
that if he decides to follow us, he'll be collecting their bodies from the water! You think you can cheat us? Guys, guys, look. <laughs> I know you're a little upset. But... Hey! Hey! hey you treat me! Uh, uh. You uh, call uh, us thieves? Uh, uh. You know how much that album is worth? How long I drain him? Guys. Uh, hey! Okay. He's on board. The boy here. I brought him over. The monkey's on board. Go take a look. Uh, Stop them. Uh, Stop them now. Go look. Go look. He's below there. He's on... Take a look! He's downstairs below this! Wait, take a look down there! For Christ's sake! He's on board here! too. Shooting at. Do we engage, sir? Do we engage? Negative. Return to the ship. Over. Copy that. Take it home. Get back inside! Get back inside! See two dads. No one visible, sir. Definitely off my ship. Yes, sir. He's on the monsoon. Somewhere. 
Whatever you did in the market clearly contributed to these events. Yes, sir. I take full responsibility for my behaviour. Up to an hour ago, you were off my ship, headed for a captain's table. Yes, sir. But you've earned yourself a last chance. Thank you, sir. And the privilege of sterilising everywhere that monkey's been with a toothbrush. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, if you want to stay on my ship, you've got to prove yourself later. Well, let you down, boss. Very good. Thanks, boss. Don't forget the galley and the laundry. Absolutely. <laughs> you never did, uh, you never did see my monkey, did you, man? Cute ass. Little button eyes, cheeky little thing. You would have loved him. It's a pleasure I can live without two dads. Good with animals, great with nunchucks. Oh, and I am rich too, so got that going for me as well. Oh, come on, Nam, I'm not that bad, am I? You jumping back on board wasn't some great plan to save Charge and me, was it? You just wanted to save your own skin. I know the others think you're okay now. But doing something by default, that's not good enough in my book. I'm watching you. As long as it's not in the shower. 